Looking for cheap NBA 2K MT coins or Madden coins? Head over to buy2kmutt.com for the cheapest coins online and use code MASSIVE for 20% off your order. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K20. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the winning every award challenge. So this is definitely one of the harder challenges to do here in 2K. Basically, if you don't know what it is, you have to win every single like award at the end of the regular season, which basically means mvp rookie of the year six man of the year defensive player of the year most improved and coach of the year i don't believe i'm forgetting one i hope i'm not i'm actually gonna throw finals mvp in there as well basically you know kind of saying i do have to go ahead and win a championship which is probably you know most likely going to happen because i have to get an mvp for god's sake so the definitely the toughest ones on here i would say are most improved and mvp i think mvp is definitely the toughest without a doubt rookie of the year i can probably do um if i somehow can you know just cheese this one a little bit but yeah i'll get into that more in a second uh we are going to be using a random team today so i just want to thank you guys all for all your support recently it's been great i've been getting a great amount of subscribers uh each and every day and of course none of this is possible without you guys so once again thank you guys so much for that but if you guys are new make sure to hit that subscribe button Stay a while. We have a lot of fun around here. So let's hop into this rebuild today. So I have done this challenge a couple times, and you know some of them have gone better than others. I think I actually did complete it successfully one time. Uh, I'm go as I mentioned, I'm going to be selecting my team randomly. So the goal here is not to get a team that's like absolutely terrible, but I also don't want a team with that's like really good. Like if I get the Pelicans, that would be perfect because I know I can probably get Zion an MVP. But we will see. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and continue. Boy, oh boy, three, two, and one. We end up with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, the MVP part there is going to be a little a little tough. That's definitely going to be a tough one. Uh, I am definitely going to go ahead and probably count this first season. It's not going to be a season. We'll basically just do four seasons and count this first one. So, uh, as always, if you guys are ever wondering what sort of draft classes I use, it's basically all these ones right here. And then, of course, this is my My League YouTubers one. Uh, that video actually did really well. It's one of the best, or that one of the, probably the better videos I've done in a while recent while but yeah i do i use all these draft classes right here and then if we do get into 2023 and 2024 at all i use these ones by phil phil i'm 20 2002 um they, they seem really solid very similar to the jack move 916 ones so those are the ones i use pretty much always on playstation i don't believe they're on uh, xbox as well so we look at this team right now chris paul 34 years old has obviously you know proved a lot of people wrong uh after being traded from houston and probably for the best honestly Shea's kind of emerged from nowhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to quite get him into MVP candidacy, but I definitely think we can do a lot here. My one thing that I'm really excited about is Dennis Schroeder wins six man a lot. So I think we do have six man kind of, you know, locked in. Uh, we're obviously going to have to work on eventually, you know, getting a rookie that can probably win rookie of the year. But I'm super pumped about this team right now. Uh, as I mentioned, I did do start today. We're currently 40 and 24. Uh, I'm not really going to mess with the rotation too much at all. This is an interesting rotation, though. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. Oh, Roberson's not even playing. You know what? I'm not going to... Actually, you know what? Yeah, I will just let the CPU do it. Okay, what does it want the rotation to be? All right, I actually kind of prefer that a little bit. That's fine. I am I have some high hopes here for Dennis Schroeder to win uh, six Man of the Year this year, though. So hopefully that can get done. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of year number one. Year number one here has come to a close. Giannis does win the MVP award, and he's actually definitely one of my bigger targets in today's video. Uh, he sometimes ends up being a free agent, sometimes not. He hasn't signed a contract extension yet. So maybe he'll be in free agency in the third year. But again, you typically it's hard, kind of hard to have money by that year. We're going to have a lot to do today. Uh, John Morant does win Rookie of the Year. And Dennis Schroeder does win Six Men of the Year. So that's absolutely perfect for me. Check one off the list. I'm going to keep a track on my phone just to make sure we get everything. Defensive Player of the Year might be a tough one as well. Most Improved goes to Bam Adebayo. And then Mike Boldenhoser does win Coach of the Year. So we are in the playoffs today, which is absolutely awesome for this Oklahoma City Thunder team. Who were given, like a, I forget the exact percentage, but it was some crazy low number. Uh, of making the playoffs like pre-2019, pre 2020 NBA season. But yeah, we end up as a four seed, as you see here. You're going to be taking on the Utah Jazz. We'll check out the rest of the standings uh, right here. I definitely do want to try to trade up for a really solid pick uh, in this year's draft because that's going to be pretty important. Schroeder actually led us in scoring. Like, funny enough, our six men's leading. Has that ever been a thing before? Like, I know this is a video game, but like in real life, if anybody can look that up for me, that'd actually be a really cool fact. If your, Has your six man ever led you in points? That, that's, a, that's something really cool. I'm like people off the top of my head, like maybe like Manu or like I don't think Manu. I was outscoring like Tim Duncan and stuff like that. Like Manu, maybe Lou Williams. I, I just I don't think so. But it's it's a really cool thing to see. Uh, and you know maybe decide or not decide, figure out. Uh, Danilo Gallinari, Shea, Chris Paul, Stephen Adams, Nerlens Noel. All right, rebounds per game went to Stephen Adams and assists was Chris Paul. Not too bad. Points per game, um, somewhere in the middle of the pack. It's looking like. Um, actually maybe more on the lower side at a, only a, just about on just under 111 points a game. Uh, 
we allowed only 108 points per game, so give us a pretty medium differential. We were number eight in the league with a 3.0 differential. All right, we got Utah Jazz here in the first round. Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Bohan Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert, Jordan Clarkson, off the bench, and Emmanuel Moutier uh, as well. That's a really solid team. I think we can probably beat them, though. I would, I, I mean, that would hope. We have a really good center matchup there with Stephen Adams and Rudy Gobert. I mean, I'll still take in Rudy Gobert any day of the week. But, yeah, we're down 3-1 right now. We're down 3-1. That's, you know, not ideal. Are we going to be able to pull this one back? Come on. Give me a comeback. Okay. And, wow, Portland upsets the Lakers in the first round, and now we have home court advantage once again. Dame, CJ, Trevor, Reza, Mello, Whiteside, Nurkic. DeMarcus Cousins made his way. I mean, seriously? <laughs> you just don't need three centers here. But I'm not running that team. Do whatever. You know, all the power to you. Portland's definitely going to be a tough team. I mean, that's a really – I mean, we also do have a really solid backcourt with CP3 and Shea, but Dame and Lillard and CJ McCollum are just on another level. It is what it is. I'll see you guys in the offseason. So the Clippers do go on to win the finals as Kawhi Leonard is your finals MVP. Surprise, surprise. So, yeah, now this is technically like year number one coming up here. I could have just simmed all the way to the offseason, but I don't know. I wanted to count the first year. If you guys were a little mad about that, I, I do apologize, but it is what it is. So let's head up to staff signing now. Uh, Andrew Moore can probably stay. Assistant GM, I'm going to go ahead and sign my boy Owen Masters here. Billy Donovan can stay for now. John James, you're fired. I just can't deal with like a D rating on offense. B on defense is solid, but I got to get something a little better. Trent Peterson, I haven't signed actually in a minute, so I'll sign Trent Peterson. Kuba Gooding has really good ratings. And then Sean Navarro is low-key a trainer. I didn't even know that. Okay. Three new members of our front office. Let's head up to the draft now. I'm obviously, you know, maybe looking to trade up for a pretty valuable pick. We have 24, 25 from uh, Denver, and then 24 in the second round as well. So, Definitely a couple things I can do here. Dennis Schroeder's already won six men of the year. So we no longer really, I mean, it's like shitty to say, but we don't really need him. So if I can get a lot of value, because he's not winning any other awards, most likely. I think, without a doubt, as I mentioned, MVP and most improved are going to be really, really tough. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get most improved. I'm going I'm to give him my all, don't you worry, but we'll see. So I do want to trade up for a really valuable pick, and I think Dennis Schroeder definitely has to be in that deal, maybe along with Chris Paul. Um, I also very well could wait till next year because the guy who wins rookie of the year always next year is Cade Cunningham. And occasionally in the 2020 draft class here, it does change quite a bit. It typically is LaMelo ball, but it definitely does, you know, fluctuate for, if you will. So I'm going to probably try to go out and get LaMelo ball. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm probably going to end up trading him for the first overall pick next year and go and get Cade Cunningham. Uh, but definitely want to make a move right now. So let's just see right off the bat. Could probably throw Chris Paul on a deal. And then all these picks. Can I maybe move up to pick number one? That would just be absolutely perfect. And again, as much as important to me, like I do want to win a championship in today's video, obviously, you know, wanting to get the finals MVP as well. But like, if that's the one we have to, you know, not get, that's not that big of a deal for me. Uh, of course, Golden State has it. They're not going to have any money. Okay. Um, who is the second overall pick? I'm just hoping it's somebody with a little more cap space. And again, I don't want to trade Chris Paul, but I, I need a, I need a valuable pick here. And he's kind of the most valuable player on our team right now. I'd say besides Shea. All right, Detroit wants to do that. I'm surprised Detroit had $40 million in cap just to take in, but good for them. I feel like Golden State's not going to take LaMelo, but I really don't want to risk it if we're going to be honest here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to trade um, here with Golden State. What do they want for the number one overall pick? Okay. No. I'm probably going to do Darius Basley here. Or Isaiah Roby, but I don't want to give up another first. And I also low-key get Draymond Green in this trade. Um, probably not. I think the days of Draymond Green winning defense of player of the year are over. I mean, we might try it for a year, but LaMelo Ball is officially going to be the first overall pick here for us. Him and Cher are going to be a really solid young backcourt for us. Definitely excited to see how that can work. And I think it's going to be huge because I'm going to be playing, um, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and be playing LaMelo Ball a ton of minutes pretty much every night. So that's going to be huge for him, you know, winning rookie of the year. So we just drafted him. Let's get into free agency. Totally forgot we have team player options first. Mike Muscala is going to decline that. I'm going to bring back Abdel Nader and Hamadou Diallo. Uh, I actually think Hamadou Diallo can be a really solid player. I, Abdel Nader is not good. I've, I watched him on my Celtics for a little while, and he was just never anything. Uh, Deion Bur or Deontay Burton, excuse me, probably not going to give the qualifying offer to. Kevin Hervey, I'm, I'm not sure who you are. I apologize. Luke Nets, Dortz, probably not as well. I don't really think any of those guys are really going to contribute on the you know macro level for us. So... Schroeder and LaMelo are here. Schroeder very well still could be in a trade. Because I'm trying to think of guys who win, you know, the defensive, player of the, war, defensive player of the year award quite a bit. Let's see. Who that I could realistically trade for. I feel like Anthony Davis gets it a ton. Anthony Davis gets it a ton. So I might have to make a bid for him in free agency. And he low-key also could win an MVP. I've seen it maybe once or twice. It's probably not, you know, that probable. But we will see. Luka Doncic would be huge as well. Wherever, oh, he's definitely way higher than overall. 
Um, yeah, he's currently rated the fifth best player in the league, so he's not going to happen. But if I can somehow, you know, pull off signing Anthony Davis in free agency, I think that would be great because he'll probably win defensive player of the year. I think the time to trade Draymond Green is now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of trades. Isaiah Roby is probably going to be one. And as I mentioned, I know Hamadou Diallo. I said Hamadou Diallo probably has a lot of potential. I just don't think he's going to really, you know, it's not really the video to try to be getting 70 overalls into rotations and stuff like that, when I'm, especially when I'm trying to, you know, win a ton of awards today. Uh, so we're going to do this swap right here. Or not this swap, rather, but Diallo in a lottery protected first round from Miami. You're going to be going to L.A. Uh, for two unprotected picks right there. Um, any day of the week, I'm going to take two L.A. picks over one Miami pick. Seems pretty smart. Abdel Nader. And then Terrence Ferguson will probably be the final guy that does get moved. I mean, besides Draymond Green. But I'm going to try to get him in some sort of bigger trade. I just mean for, you know, along the lines of first round picks. Right? Actually, you know what? I want to keep Terrence Ferguson and throw him in a trade with Draymond Green. Let's see what I can do here. Tobias Harris, not a bad option. Um, I'm, I'm just looking for somebody who I could potentially see winning either most improved. Um, I think like Brandon Ingram wouldn't be a bad option. Let me try to work on a Brandon Ingram deal. Actually, I might do that after free agency. Uh, I could probably do Dennis Schroeder of some sort for Brandon Ingram. Just because I know Brandon Ingram does win most improved a lot. Him and Bam Adebayo. I also could try to just do a straight up swap of um, Steven Adams for Bam Adebayo. So we will see. Um, this deal though, I'm going to probably do this first round pick from the Warriors. looks super valuable, but it's actually really not because Steph and Claire are coming back. Both of them. <laughs> Buddy healed. I'm just trying to, you know, dump some money right now. All right. What about just Draymond Green? I, I hate sitting here forever and I'll, I'll cut out after this, but... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Just come on. All right, give me Trey Lyles in a first. I just wanted to get rid of Draymond's contract. I'm going to trade Trey Lyles for a first, and I'll see you guys in free agency. So I just went ahead and give Anthony Davis a max contract offer. It's unfortunate, but we're, we're number four on his list. I mean, it's hard to compete with this Lakers offer right here. I thought we'd be above the Knicks and the Hawks at least, but unfortunately we're not. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a tough one for sure, but we're probably not going to be getting him, so we do have to obviously you know prepare to not get him. So I am in the market for starting small forward and power forward. Uh, Steven Adams, as I mentioned, might have to go ahead and do a swap here for Bam Adebayo. Because that dude wins most improved, like, so much. I mean, what, what were his stats last year? Also, the money's going to be a little tough there. Um, oh, wow. he This was probably the year. All right. What did Brandon... I know Brandon Ingram's in free agency, so he's probably going to get signed no matter what. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I just don't know who's, like, a good candidate. Maybe Montrez Harrell? It's definitely a possibility. It's just, it's a guessing game. It's a total guessing game because this is like one of the hardest things to predict and most improved is, I would say, my second hardest thing to win. Defensive player of the year is going to be a tough one too. I think def I think most improves a little harder than defensive player of the year. But, so we're not going to get Anthony Davis, which is unfortunate. Um, oh my God, I forgot that Neil Gallinari was even a free agent for us. Um, so I definitely, I do want to go ahead and look to bring him back. Anthony Davis does go to the LA Lakers. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, Danilo Gallinari, I'm going to probably give $100 million to just because I can match him up, you know, with bigger contracts. Hopefully he accepts that one. And then Roberson, I wouldn't mind giving like $17 mil. Um, so we're going to sign both of them. That's cool. I don't think the game's going to glitch and put Anthony Davis back in free agency. No, it does not. So I'm going to work on a trade for Gallo now. I'll see you guys once I have that. So I've sort of identified Kristaps Porzingis here as somebody who I think can win most improved. I've seen this dude average over 30 points a game. I'm not saying he's going to do that for us, but I definitely think if he can be in like around the 25 to 27 range, he only put up 19 and a half points last year. I think he's definitely an option here, and he's also a decently not too bad overall right now, which means he's easier to trade for. So I have a lot of first-round picks. That kind of goes without being said. I think if I include Terrence Ferguson in a deal, that's kind of equivalent to a first-round pick. I'd actually rather not give up the Charlotte pick. I'll give you this Miami Heat pick, and I'll give you four other first-round picks. Dude, if I can't get this trade to go through, I'm going to be kind of a no... Okay, there we go. Porzingis is officially a member of this team. I'm going to move him to power forward. He goes up to an 89 overall. I have some serious, serious high hopes for him. I am definitely in the market for a small forward now, though. Uh, and I think Dennis Schroeder is pretty much going to have to be in any deal because I don't have a ton of money. Uh, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. But let me see what I can get for Dennis Schroeder. Uh, he kind of—it's it's shitty to say, but he kind of did our did his job and won you know rookie of the year for me. So Tobias Harris might or not rookie of the year, Jesus, sixth man of the year. Tobias Harris is definitely probably going to fill that you know open spot for us there at small forward. I mean, it's a pretty pretty easy trade there. It was the first option. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take this deal with the 76ers, Dennis Schroeder in Atlanta, unprotected first round pick straight up for Tobias Harris. Just a really good fill-in. I don't imagine him doing much for us, but yeah, we're in a really interesting spot right now. Um, Porzingis won't have a backup. I'm going to get a backup center, small forward, and point guard at this point. Um, not a ton of money, so that's a tough one. Uh, I'll sign John Henson on a two-year deal. He's probably not going to be traded. A bunch of these other guys, though, probably will be. Sean Levingston, if you move him to small forward, the dude goes up a ton of overalls, and then... 
I think I need a small forward as well. So Ken Bazemore. I actually might just roll with Ken Bazemore off the bench. He's not a bad player at all. Okay. So let's go ahead and move Livingston up to the small forward spot. It, honestly, if I can get something a lot better, I, I will. It's probably going to be all rookie deals. I can get Shake Milton's not bad as well. I don't really think I need a backup shooting. Guard. Actually, you know what? I might go back to Shake Milton. Hold on. I do have an idea. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking for other people here. Looking for guys that could potentially win a award at any point. Duncan Robinson, Loki, maybe could win most improved. Definitely could have this year. Uh, I didn't even, I kind of forget who won it. All right, I'm going to pull the trigger on this Shake Milton deal. Now, I do have an idea because if you do move Loki, I highly doubt it would happen, but Andre Roberson's an unbelievable defensive player. Possibly could, you know, make a bid um, to win defensive player of the year. And I know I just said I'm not trading Kemp Bays more, but I literally uh, just. It, the trade worked out that way, so I do apologize about that. Okay, um, I need a point guard. I need a point guard. I need a point guard. I'm probably just going to go ahead and take Quinn Cook here. All right, that's fine. Quinn Cook's going to come in. Lamella Ball is going to be playing a ton of minutes anyways because I, I do want him to win rookie of the year. So that's nine, guys. I apologize. This took absolutely forever, but I'll see you guys at the start of year number one. So it's a pretty interesting-looking rotation, and I acclimated these minutes in a very, very specific and certain way, and I, I will explain to you my reasons for them right now. Uh, Lamelo needs to be playing a ton of minutes because I want him to be the best rookie. He needs to win rookie of the year. That's going to be a big one. Loki also just realized Shea could win most improved. He definitely takes a very significant jump, well, especially from the first year you use him in my league to the second, but specifically the second to the third. So that's what we're in right now just because, you know, I did simulate a season. Uh, Tobias Harris, I mean, he's here, but it's not that big of a deal. Porzingis is playing 37 minutes a night. I need him to win, you know, most improved, hopefully. Him or Shea, I mean, we have two very good candidates right there. And then Steven Adams is here as well, obviously. You know, a, a pretty underrated center, in my opinion. Uh, bench looks like this. Shake Milton, Andre Roberson, John Henson, and then Quinn Cook as well going to be getting some minutes. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set scoring options. First one's going to be Porzingis. Second one is going to be LaMelo Ball. Uh, third one is going to be Shea. So whether Billy Donovan, you know, implements plays for that to happen or not, will will be a, will be a sight to see. But... I got some hopes. I'm going to be checking this throughout the year, and if I make any trades or anything, obviously I will keep you guys updated for that. But for now, we are all set. I'll see you guys at the end of the first season. Year number one here has come to a close, and not a bad year. 58 wins, you know, isn't that great, but I can definitely, you know, I can live with it. I can definitely live with it for this first season here. Giannis has won MVP. I was actually, funny enough, I was looking, like, I was checking the awards, like, pretty frequently throughout, like, because you can check the award races. All you have to do is, like, it's, it's, it's literally it's an option. Uh, like, throughout the season, and... Chris Osborne's English is actually like third or fourth. And LaMelo Ball actually low-key popped up at some point, too. It was only for a very, very short period, but he he popped up. Giannis does win the MVP award, though. LaMelo Ball does win rookie of the year for us. That is absolutely cool to see. Let's check off another one. So we now have six men of the year and rookie of the year. Yusuf Nurkic, six men of the year this year. Uh, I believe Kawhi, yep, defensive player of the year. And now this is a big moment right here. It's either It's got to either be Porzingis or Shea. I was checking the awards and like it was like Tony Bradley, Michael Porter Jr. were other options. I don't, I didn't see Shea on there, but Porzingis was one while I was simming, you know, throughout the season. Hopefully, he's check, checked that way. I should have thought about Michael Porter Jr. That's another really good option. Chris Stops Porzingis most approved. You love to see it. Twenty six points, eleven and a half rebounds, one assist. Absolutely awesome to see. That's absolutely perfect because we checked that one off as well. So three out of six done. Oh, Billy Donovan, Coach of the Year. Billy Donovan wins coach year with a 58 win team. Okay. So we now need MVP and defensive player of the year, which are to I mean two out of the three hardest. Those are probably two of the three, but I was very surprised. I'm not, not surprised. I mean, I'm obviously very, very happy about most of them. I'm very, very surprised about coach of the year with 58 wins. That one definitely shocked me a little bit. We're a one seed though. So I guess it kind of does make a little bit of sense. Um, we actually tied with the Celtics for the best record in the league. So it's definitely understandable. Uh, player stats on the year four is led and by Porzingis. Then it was the mellow ball. Pumped to see him getting rookie of the year. Shea, Tobias Harris, Steven Adams. Okay. I'm really happy where this team's at right now. Defense player of the year and MVP are definitely gonna be a tough one. But if maybe somebody like Kawhi Leonard is in free agency, maybe can kill two birds with one stone. But then again, Kawhi doesn't win MVP a lot. So, I mean, if Giannis is in free agency, that would definitely, definitely probably, you know, put me over the top. But who knows if he'll even be there. Uh, we are in the playoffs right now, though. We have the Denver Nuggets here in the first round. Jamal Murray, Gary Harris, MPJ. Jeremy Grant, Nicole Jokic. Okay, so, I mean, I obviously do want to win a championship. And, again, as I mentioned, I'm kind of counting this as, like, the first year. Um, if you want to say this is the second year, that's perfectly fine. It's either three or four season rebuild, whatever, you know, your your opinion on that one kind of is. But we are going to be, you know, going into this, this these playoffs, one more playoffs, and then one more after that. Get some popcorn ready. We do end up winning against the Denver Nuggets here in seven games. Sacramento Kings, interesting enough. Um, wow, Boogie returned to Sacramento. New number. I liked Boogie in 15. Oh, wait. 
He wore 15 in Sacramento, right? Then he wore... No, whoa. I'm having a... T Did he wear 15 or 0 in Sacramento? I feel like he wore 15 in Sacramento and then he switched to 0. I'm having a total mind blank right now. I apologize. I, I just... I need to figure this one out because I don't know why. Like he, I can see him in both numbers in Sacramento right now. And I don't know why I can. I don't really like that. Okay, he wore 15 in Sacramento. I was just like, what in the world? I must be, must have been something going on. Because I can see him in 0-2. It's weird. Okay. We're taking on the four-seeded Kings here. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Uh, we're down 3-2. Seriously? That team was good, but I don't think they were as good as us. All right, I'll see you guys in the offseason. The Clippers do go on to win the finals again. And Kawhi Leonard finals MVP once again. So, yeah. I mean, might be a tough one for Kawhi to end up wanting to leave. I'm praying Giannis is in free agency here. If he's not, that would... That would suck. That would definitely suck a lot. And even if he is, who knows, will even come to us. So we're going to head up to staff signing right now. Uh, I'm going to sign a new CFO. Billy Donovan did win coach of the year, but, I mean, do I want to take him back? Is that thing, do I see him as a championship coach? I think Mike D'Antoni maybe a little bit more. And then I just need to re-sign Sean Navarro here as well. So, all right, Samuel Olson. Oh, seriously? All right, let me just, we have 1.49 million. Okay, I can definitely, I don't know, like, we can definitely afford both of those. I don't know why that game, the game does that and glitches a little bit, but it's a weird thing. All right, we're heading up to the draft right now. We do not have any picks in this year. What is going, why does, this happens a lot. All right, I'll be back. I don't know why, I, sometimes I'm not, let me know if you guys have seen that glitch before as well. It just starts, like, fading, and then it's, like, really, like, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. It's, like, it's, like, faded and non-clear resolution. It's, it's a weird thing, I don't know. But back to this, we don't have any picks in this year's draft. Uh, so we're just probably going to be skipping over that. As I mentioned, we already do have a rookie of the year. And also, I mean, as I mentioned, LaMelo Ball was in the MVP candidacy. So I'm not mad about that. He also low-key could be an MVP candidate. Kadeem Allen is unfortunately not going to get the qualifying offer here for me. So moment of truth. Is Giannis going to be in for agency? Okay. I got to make a big bid. He always goes to the Spurs. He always goes to the Spurs. I got to clear up all the cap space possible. Tobias Harris and $36 million. Get out of here. Um, maybe if I can just get like a valuable pick, definitely wouldn't mind that or make it like a really young player. Um, come on, seriously. All right. Well, let's just, you know, I, is anybody offer me any sort of pick? All right. The Pistons are with Blake Griffin. That actually, that pick looks like it could be end up doing decently valuable. Blake Griffin's got to get moved now. I'm just trying to come on. Like seriously. Fair enough. Who would want this Blake Griffin contract? All right, Bobby Portis. Now we're just kind of moving down the realm and just trading guy after guy until we know eventually we can dump all this money. Because I need Giannis. I need Giannis and I need him bad because I need him to win an MVP for me and it evens the player of the year because that would be absolutely huge. Uh, I don't think trading Tobias Harris alone is going to give us enough cap space. Oh, shit, it actually does. Shit, shit, shit. All right. Max contract's been offered. Is he going to want to come here? All right, I'm going to close my eyes. You guys know. You guys know. I don't know if he wants to come here. No. Bro, I had this challenge in the bag, and he Come on. That's such a kick in the balls. That's such a kick in the balls. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, we can't just forget that Steven Adams is also a free agent, so I'm going to give Steven Adams a contract. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That would have been such a huge signing for me. Yeah, Giannis goes to the Spurs. whoop the fucking do Damn, that, like, literally, I had everything else. Because I've seen him win Defensive Player of the Year year after year. I've seen him win MVP year after year. He could have totally done it for me. And that just, that sucks. That that really does suck. So, uh, I guess I'm going to have to bank on Porzingis maybe winning an MVP. I mean, he was in the discussion. Him and LaMelo Ball, surprisingly, both were. So, now, I mean, now I'm in the market for a new small forward after I just, you know, gave Tobias Harris the absolute boot. So, I don't think I have any money, though. Um, yeah, I really don't. I low-key can afford Devontae Graham, but we will see. Uh, me, Oni, is probably going to get moved for somebody of some sort. I'm trying to think who else could win Defensive Player of the Year. Because I'm probably not going to be signing a defense or trading for a real, like, absolute star-studded Defensive Player of the Year. Like, I've seen Bam Adebayo do it. Like, whoever I choose here, I'm going to be taking an absolute risk on. Joel Embiid is definitely, you know, a valid option. I just don't know. He's he's untouchable. God damn it. Mm, I'm just trying to think, like, who else here? I honestly don't know. Like, I feel like it is Bam Adebayo quite a bit. 
I will try to do this. Steven Adams for Bam out of bio. I mean, I do have a ton of first round picks here. That Charlotte pick's actually really valuable and it's unprotected. That Pistons pick's actually really valuable as well. I actually could end up needing those next offseason. So I'm a, whoa. All right. That you, okay, whatever. That Utah pick was valuable, but I'm definitely more excited about Bam out of bio. So definitely could be a t potential defensive player of the year for us. As, as I mentioned, I'll keep you guys updated throughout the year. Also could maybe go after Rudy Gobert. Could go after Rudy Gobert. I think it's just kind of a guessing game, honestly. Like, who do I think is more likely to win the Defensive Player of the Year award? I'm going to take the chances on Rudy or on Rudy Gobert, actually, I actually think. I don't know why. I, just, I feel a little more confident in him. I feel like... I don't know why. I just do. Um, Serious, so stop being a bunch of cucks. Come on. Bro. All right, there we go. We get Rudy Gobert. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to absolutely focus right now. So, at this point in time, um, I'm still in the market for a small forward. I'm still in the market for a small forward. And so, Thomas Sadoransky, if I want to sign him, that's the most let's me give him, surprisingly. I'm going to probably sign him and then probably throw him in some sort of trade. Let me figure out that move. I have no idea if we're even going to come close to getting this done with the Celtics. Uh, no, not a chance. I'm not giving up Shea. All right, so... I might have to include one of those pretty valuable picks uh, next year. Maybe not. I highly doubt they're just going to take this for... Four, yeah, no. Okay. How about if I throw this pick in? All right. They agree to that. So we're going to be getting Jalen Brown on this team. He's going to be starting in small forward for us. He's going to go up to an 89 overall. So at this point in time, uh, I'm going to get a backup small forward and a backup point guard. Uh, Trey Burke's going to be a perfect signing for me. Uh, just go ahead and get that done. Uh, and then at the small forward spot, like, doesn't have to be anybody great. Um, I guess Ryan broke off. I might look to trade him even with that. I don't even know who that is. Is he on an NBA team right now? If one, of, if somebody in my comment section could let me know, I would s sincerely appreciate it. I just don't know who it is. Uh, Cody Martin might not be a bad option. Ooh, Justin Holiday. I really do like Justin Holiday. All right, we're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of your number two. So once again, there are definitely reasons for why I have this rotation the way it is. LaMelo Ball actually was in the MVP conversation as a rookie, which is absolutely insane in general. I don't think there's a real chance at all i would say it's under five percent he actually does win mvp but i'm giving him 35 minutes a night you never really know uh shea in here as well i've never seen shea you know really even come close to winning mvp same goes with jalen brown porzingis i have very high hopes for I, he was in top three mvp candidate you know going into like the final whatever it was 15 games maybe i'll get lucky and pull something out of my ass and he'll be able to do it again and then rudy gobert is definite hope here for defense player of the year 36 minutes a night for him uh bench looks like this shake milton trey burke john henson and justin holiday so obviously that's not as important but a lot of high hopes here i'll see you guys at the end of year number two year number two comes to a close here and we go 63 and 19 so yeah as you can see probably would have done it for us Giannis does win the mvp award bull bull wins rookie of the year also wins six man of the year and oh god damn it all right, we need a big third and final year here. Anthony Davis does win the Defensive Player of the Year award here at the end of year number two. So I wish I should have checked like the day before to see what the final you know count was or where Rudy Gobert was in the standings. I would imagine he's probably top three or four. Uh, Zeke Naji does win most approved. Mike D'Antoni does win Coach of the Year for us. So I guess we want to double down on Coach of the Year. We got it there, but nonetheless, we do not go on to win any other awards. So we did have the best record in the NBA, NBA though, which is cool. Players has in the year. Porzingis was really solid. I mean, he was definitely in the MVP conversation. Which was definitely, I mean, I'll take that. LaMelo Ball, not too bad. Jalen Brown, Shea, Rudy Gobert. Um, is there defensive, like, rating stats in this? I don't think there probably are. Points allowed per game. 11.5 points allowed per game is not that bad. I think that's what that, I definitely could be totally wrong on what that means. I'm not a giant stats guy. Uh, 175 blocks. I'm just, I'm, I'm lost. I, I'm not a numbers guy, really. All right, we 123 points per game, which was second in the league, and then best defensive rating, which you know did give us the best differential. So we got the Clippers here, who are back-to-back -back champions in the first round. Jalen Adams, Paul George, Kawhi, Marcus Morris, Bunters Hill. The thing that really sucks for me is I don't think anybody in free agency is really like an MVP type player this year. I like it's a really good free agency class. It's a really deep free agency class, but I think it's, it's kind of led by like Kyrie, who, who who's not really an MVP type player. If we're gonna sit here and be honest if you want to have that discussion with me feel free uh but I, i'm gonna whole wholeheartedly stick to that that Kyrie Irving is not an mvp type player dejounte murray josh richardson demar Derozan, Giannis, chimsey matthew is going to be the rotation here for the four seeded spurs that 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 should be a two seed that should really be a two seed and while the defensive player of the year loses to minnesota in the first round who's starting a power forward for minnesota huh who was starting a power for who who on who who was uh anthony davis covering here tj leaf appears to be who it was i mean maybe they moved him over to carl anthony towns i don't know but the way the game is you know kind of like 
scripted that typically the power forward covers the power forward. I don't know, though. Uh, here in the Western Conference Finals, we got the Timberwolves, though. Um, TJ Leaf was starting, so I have no idea if Anthony Davis was covering TJ Leaf, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, we're facing them right now. I would like to, you know, win a championship here, too. We're three. Okay, we're going on in the NBA Finals. We got the Hornets here, Terry Rozier, Oladipo, Jonathan Kaminga. That's a good team. I think we're a very we're very much a lot better. And I apologize. I would get some gameplay today, but this video is already so long. Uh, so we do go on to win a finals. So check off finals MVP from the list. This year wasn't a total waste. Let's head into this final offseason, though. And obviously, you know, we got a lot of high hopes here. We definitely have a lot of high hopes here. We'll see. We will see. Probably a couple moves definitely going to need to be made, uh, you know, heading into. Jeez, I won't drive Joe nobody. Heading into free agency here. We end up with the, only the 23rd pick. Uh, I'm just going to send that to Philadelphia for a future first. I mean, I know I traded a lot of my picks, but it, it was for a pretty good reason last offseason. You know, I needed these players. Uh, so, LaMelo Ball, Shake Milton are both going to be coming back. I mean, we also have to look at this free agency. I think Shea's a free agent. I don't know if Porzingis is. I don't think Porzingis is. I, somebody else is definitely a free agent here. All right. So, Louis Dodgers is here. He's restricted. He's absolutely going to be going back to Dallas. They're going to match anything he gets. Trey Young is here. Haven't really seen Trey win an MVP award before, and he's restricted. So, it's just not going to happen. Is Shea really our only free agent? Oh, I don't know why I thought we had one more. But, yeah, going to definitely be re-signing him. Uh, and then hopefully eventually we're looking to... Why would I renounce the rights on him? Like, that, the fact that's an auto-generated thing. Like, if I was just going quickly, the fact that that's just, like, a done is it's crazy to me. It's it's crazy to me. Why on earth would I not re-sign an 89 overall? Or, like, at least attempt to. I'm not, I already said I'm not doing it. What's going on here? That's just the dumbest thing ever. It's just, it's really stupid how this game works sometimes. All right, I'm going to resign Shay. I'll see you guys once I have a trade. Oh, actually, he's going to match someone. How do the Lakers have money? It's matched, though. All right, I'm going to work on a trade. I'll see you guys once I have that trade. Okay, so I just loaded back into 2K, and John Moran is somehow not untouchable. And I think he could probably could win an MVP award if I do this correctly. He might not be able to. I just want one of these trades to go through, for the love of God. I'll give you Trey Burke as Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. John Morant's officially on this team. Wait, where's... Oh, I didn't... Oh, the game glitched and I didn't re-sign Shea yet. All right. The Shea contract's now matched, so our starting lineup's fine. If John Morant's going to win it... I've seen it happen before. If he's going to win MVP... I'm going to probably play him like 38 minutes a night because I'm seriously banking on him or Porzingis winning the MVP award for us because that's the final one we need and I really want to get it done. Okay. I do need to sign a bench... Wow, I honestly did not think it was he was even going to come close. All right, I'm, I'm going to give Daniel Tice some money here. I'm, I'm honestly shocked that was even able to happen. Okay, but it did. I, I don't think I've ever really seen, you know, John Morant, like, be tradable before, which is, like, weird. I, I didn't, It seems kind of dumb, but I guess they wanted them on the ball. So, um, at this point, I'll sign to Michael Green. I don't really care what my bench looks like. They're honestly probably not even going to play too much. So I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So I do need a backup shooting guard. We're going to be sending Austin Rivers, Wesley Wendu in a first for Derek Walton Jr. and David Nwaba. I would never do that deal otherwise, but I just need a shooting guard. So I will show you guys how I'm going to do this rotation right now. Um, I definitely... Derek Walton Jr. is not playing. Wait, wait. Oh my God, I'm a dumbass. Is he really... How stupid am I? I could have sworn it said shooting guard. Right? Yeah. All right. I'm just really, really dumb. I'm like really, really dumb. So, yeah, I'm going to, you know, make one more trade. I just, I, why did I even, how stupid am I? How did I not, I could, I'm just like exhausted at this point. So, Matt Thomas, I'm like 99% positive. That said shooting guard. Hopefully that one works. Yeah, it did. Okay. So, I'm going to do this rotation right now. Um, I would never have Daniel Tice be a six man, but I honestly kind of need it today. And he's honestly not even going to play that much. So, 15 minutes here, 12. Uh, and then 10 here. So, Rudy Gobert, 36 minutes a night. Porzingis, 36 minutes a night. Jalen Brown, 33, 32. Honestly, 40 minutes of John Moran is fine by me. I need every single thing I got to possibly let this guy win the MVP award and possibly let Rudy Gobert win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Here goes nothing. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. Just want to take a quick pause right here. We're 33 and 11 right now. John Moran is currently second in the MVP award. And, oh, God damn it, Rudy Gobert is fifth in defensive player of the year. That's going to be a tough one to overcome. I mean, you got four unbelievable defensive players right here, all of which are, you know, basically untouchable and impossible to trade for. But, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, let's finish this season up. So, John Morant does win the MVP award here. And, whoa, stroking out. Year number three, 
30 points, three and a half rebounds, 12 and a half assists. Yeah, playing a guy 40 minutes a night will definitely do that. But I'm still surprised we we're able to trade for him. But 65 and 17 on the air. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the defensive player of the year one. Chet Holmgren, Bull Bull. Ugh. That sucks. That really, really sucks. And I was like, I was this close twice because I made a bid for Anthony Davis and I made a bid for Giannis. And they were, I think Giannis's was second and Anthony Davis's was like third or fourth. So it sucks. But. The challenge was not completed. I failed, and I apologize. Aaron Holiday, most improved. Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year. You know, I think there's six there, or seven if you're including the finals MVP. So, six out of seven. We're still above average, I guess. So, we will go ahead and send these final playoffs right here. Uh, as you can see, we're the best team in the NBA. Player stats near John Morant, Porzingis, Shea, Brown, Rudy Gobert. I mean, I'm still really happy we made the trade for John Morant, because I don't think Porzingis was probably going to win an MVP award, which... You know, I'm obviously, you know, happy we got that one out of the way. But uh, Defensive Player of the Year is just so hard. It's like Defensive Player... I, I, I'll, I'll definitely say Defensive Player of the Year is the second hardest. Uh, MVP is definitely the hardest. Because it's like maybe at most seven to eight guys that I've ever seen win an MVP award ever simming like a, like a normal My League. And then Defensive Player of the Year award is probably just as hard, if not maybe even a little bit harder. Like, maybe a little bit harder just because there's typically only, like, four or five guys you've ever seen. Like, because think about it. If the guys who win MVP award are Giannis, Anthony Davis, Luka, I've seen Damon won. John Morant just won one. LeBron wins them all the time. Steph, Kawhi's won one before. Like, there, there's a good list of guys. Defense Player of the Year award is, like, Embiid, Anthony Davis, Giannis. That's really it like anymore and like maybe Rudy Gobert every once in a while maybe Bam out of bio and I'm probably forgetting somebody Embiid maybe but like I don't know that's just my thoughts John Moran does go on to win finals MVP so it sucks I couldn't get this done I'd be happy to do it and like do it again in like a month or so if you guys want to see that make sure to let me know in the comment section but as always if you guys do have any other video ideas make sure to leave them down below uh if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like as well it would mean a lot to me I'm trying to get my likes up as well it's very very important I mean I it, I don't know if a lot of people understand but like once you like a video, the more likes a video get, the more likely it is that other people are going to watch it. So if you guys want to expand my audience, I it, it, it starts with you guys. So once again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I appreciate every individual one of you. Uh, we're in a we're in an interesting time in this country right now. So I, I definitely hope you all are uh, staying safe out there. I'm not really going to get into that too much. But that about does it for me. If you guys have any other video ideas, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, that about does it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Love you guys.